All right, so this is my Dark Hero deck. Um, so I'll start off with the, the like uh, main strategy of the deck. So obviously we got Combatant Nibit. He's a size zero. Whenever you play a size two or greater Dark Hero monster, you can, you can summon this from the drop zone onto your side of the field. So you can call it from the drop zone. And you can only do that once a turn. Alright, so we also have Shadow Hero Schwartz. Call cost of one, discard a Dark Hero from your hand in order to call it. So the first thing you would do is you'll summon uh, Shadow Hero Schwartz after you charge and draw, of course, uh, so that we could pay the one gauge and then discard, hopefully, which one of the discard is a combatant in a bit. Um, but you can also do the same with uh, using a Count Dawn. Uh, you also want to be able to have a Count Dawn because it'd be nice to get two creatures. You essentially just want an extra size zero. So you want to get two size zeros. Um, but having one of them to discard for the effect of Schwartz is useful. And then you also want to have uh, 100 Demons General Brayden and you also want to have your Sneak Judgment which is your item card so you want to make sure you have enough uh, um, e enough enough gauge right because you're going to need one gauge for Schwartz you need two gauge for Brayden you're going to need two gauge for uh, your sneak judgment. So that's a total of five gauges. And what you want to do is you want to get, you know, combatant on the field. You want to get uh, shadow uh, shorts on the field. And you want to get any other size zero, another combatant or uh, distant days uh, countdown or the 7 5 knee. Uh, count on onto the field so that we have two size zeros and a size two that's what essentially you want your field to consist of and then of course you know you go um, you 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 want to apply of course uh, Schwartz's ability when he when he enters the field you can destroy a monster on your opponent's field what you want to destroy is your opponent's center monster so that way his center is open so that way you can attack him, attack your opponent directly, right? So that way you can attack him with a uh, combatant. And then attack him, you know, with whatever else you got, like a countdown, for example. So right there, after you do that, you deal two damage. Then you, you attack with uh, Schwartz. And to deal two more. That'll be a total of four damage. Then you you know you want to pay two gauge to call from your hand by sending um, Schwartz to the graveyard to summon uh, General Braden and then attack with General Braden, deal two more damage. And at the end of the battle, this, uh, this card is, you know, that attacked will return to your hand. Um, so you will have dealt two, four, six damage. And then, of course, after uh, he attacks, it will return to your hand so your center will be open. Then you can proceed to attack with your sneak judgment. You want to have, uh, it'll, you know, uh, at least one. It, it really don't matter because this is just an added ability, but you want to have at least one other uh, the dark hero monster, like Kaban, which is a dark hero. 
in order so you can attack your opponent even if he has a monster in the center but since you made sure he had no monster in the center it's not a problem and then of course you attack the opponent damage which is always good that's two extra damage on top of the six you already dealt and that's a total of eight damage in a single turn so the ability to do eight damage for the you know for the cost of five gauge it's not that bad right and it just required you one two three four and five cards to do so um, also a snake judgment has the ability when a monster leaves your field during the attack phase uh, draw a card and you, you know, so that's a good thing You're able to draw a card right Especially if you use a card, you discard a card for the effect of uh, of Schwartz. It's good to get a card in return for that. Also, you can have on the field, of course, and you definitely want to have on the field is damage control and first dark hero hideout. Dark hero hideout. When you uh, uh, um, when a dark hero monster enters the field, draw a card. You can only use that ability once per turn. And you can only have one of these on the field at at any time. So that way you can keep your hands, you know, full so you don't use up too much of your resources. Plus you want to try to be able to do the same um, attack strategy again, right? Next following turn. Especially if you end up drawing another uh, Schwartz or you end up drawing your evil aesthetics. So that you can add the Schwartz back from the graveyard to your hand. So that we can do the combo all over again. Alright, so that's you know like the main combo. And there's just other basic stuff you can do, obviously strategically. So let's go on with the list. Alright, so we have four combatant nibet. As I said before, when this size when you summon a size two or greater dark hero monster, you can special summon this card from your drop zone. So obviously it'd be very hard not to have a nice little field full of monsters. We have combatant and uh, count dawn in the grave. You know you can always fill up your your zones all over again, even if they're all wiped out at the same time. Just summon a size two or greater and then fill up your field all over again. So gotta love that. Then we got. Stranger Dilemma. I really like this card. I wish more of the dark heroes had this ability um, to deal your opponent damage because dealing damage is always good, right? It has Thundermine. Whenever your opponent casts a spell, deal one damage to your opponent. You can only use this ability once per turn. So obviously that's really useful, especially if you attack and your opponent uses a, sp a spell card to negate your attack. You'll still deal one damage. Um, it's definitely useful if you know they try to uh, end you out with an impact card. I'm not impact card. They try to uh, do you damage or even just play a spell card to get get some field advantage. You can deal them damage in the process and pretty much win on that. Plus the fact that if they're low enough to die from playing one spell, that will prevent them from playing that one spell. Right now they have to get rid of Stranger Dilemma before they play a spell which is awesome to have your point in a position where he doesn't want to play a spell especially if the spell you know the whole point is is to deal you damage and moving on now size one monster it's not a dark hero but it has a really useful effect and it's almost like having another um, Another uh, I've seen through your moves, so you have eight defensive cards, except this one's a monster. It's Rescue Dragon, Mock Braver, Counter Act Ability, during an attack on your opponent's turn. Pay one gauge if you do call this card from your hand to your center and change the target to, of the attack to this monster. You know, which is useful because it just kind of 
He has 4,000 defense, so that's not that bad. Not that great, but not that bad. Um, so it, it can definitely help you out from being attacked directly. Um, but also it's useful in the in the sense in case your opponent uh, attacks one of your uh, creatures. Like, let's say your opponent is trying to attack and destroy your stranger dile dilemma. You can use Rescue Dragon Mock Braver to protect it. So that's pretty useful. And of course, you know, it does one crit and it's a size one. So I can't complain. It's a good card. Then we have Shadow Hero Schwartz, of course. He's your buddy, so you have your your buddy over there. He's your main way of opening up your opponent's center. Um, there are there are a couple of spell cards, a couple ways you can uh, open up your opponent's center, but this is the most common way you do it. And it's essentially reusable if you battle with him and then you return him to your hand. Then you can reuse him. But anyway, um, uh, I already mentioned how, how you summon him, so I'll just keep him moving. He's he's a two crit, of course. Then we have Violet Valor, Lord Crow. When this card enters the field, put the top card of your deck into your gauge. So this will help you uh, get your gauges up real fast, especially if you're trying to get your gauge up to try to get your gauge up to five, so that you can do the combo. And he does, he's the 6,000, 4,000, and two crit, dark hero, of course. And at the end of the, ba uh, of, of the battle of this card, if you have another dark hero on your field, destroy this card. This is a size two, typically, you know, you have a size zero, you know, like combatant, for example, back from the graveyard, so you don't have to worry about it self-destructing. Of course, with combatant, you can do a link attacks, of course. So the fact that you can always bring it back from the grave and then do a link attack is always like getting an extra 2,000 boosts to all your creatures. So whenever you're in that scenario, when you need that extra boost, they always got like that. Then, of course, we got the mighty 100 Demons General Raiden, which has a call cost of 2, counteract ability, so you can summon it from your hand by paying its call cost. And um, sending a, a dark hero or a hundreds demon creature from your side field to the drop zone in order to summon this and during the end phase. I mean, during the end of the battle that this card attacked, return this card to your hand. It has 8,000 power, 6,000 defense with 2 crit. Damage control, it's a set card. Counter ability, act during an opponent's turn, discard a card from your hand if you do. The next damage you would take that turn is reduced by two. But if the card you discarded is a battle deity robo, and this card is a battle deity robo, so if you discard obviously an extra copy of this card from your hand, you can reduce the next damage you will take by four instead. And you can only use this ability once per turn. So this, you know, acts like a continuous um, negation card, you know, especially if your opponent's monsters only do one or two damage worth of. Uh, you know, crit war for damage. This is a good way to uh, to do to uh, defend yourself with. Uh, also, this is also useful if your opponent tries to end you out with an impact card. You can use this to reduce the damage they would deal to you by two. So, you have you increase your chances of not getting easily beaten by an impact, right? Among other things. Moving on, we, of course we've got the first Dark Hero Hideout, which is a set card. You can only control one copy of these on the field at any given time. And then when a Dark Hero monster enters the field, draw a card. You can only use that ability once per turn. Then we have, you finally done it. You may only cast this card when you take damage from your opponent's card. You draw a card. Then if you have a Dark Hero or a Hundreds Demons monster on your field, they'll want damage to your opponent. You know what I mean? So it's kind of like a pseudo uh, impact card in a way. You know, you take damage, you play this, your opponent takes, you know, damage, and you get to draw a card to replace the fact that you play this card. You know what I mean? Um, it helps you thin out the deck. 
it makes it almost like um, instead of this being a 50 card deck it's essentially a 46 card deck you know in a way if you think about it because you play this and it replaces itself so it helps you thin out the deck real quick plus it deals your opponent damage so if you play f all four copies of these cards you dealt your opponent at least four damage which is very useful considering the fact that there's a combo in this deck of course like I showed you in the beginning of the video that can deal eight damage so if you just play two of these you know your opponent will be in kill range for the eight damage combo right um, you could of course play a impact card in the deck as well along with this card if you want more damage the better of course to each zone it's all about player preference moving on I've seen three moves. This is your defensive card, of course. Defensive spell. You may only cast this card during an attack your opponent during your opponent's turn, and you don't have a monster in your center, which wouldn't be too hard since most of your monsters have the ability to return back to your hand. You know, or if your opponent uses a card effect to destroy your, your the monster in your center, well now your center is open. Now you can use this, right? And of course, it has the ability to nullify an attack. So. That's the obviousness of that, right? Then we have e Evil Aesthetics. Call, um, cast cost of one gauge, you pay, and you pay one life. And this allows you to add up to, uh, choose of, you choose one of two abilities. You choose either to add up to two dark hero monsters of the same size from your drop zone and put them into your hand, or you choose up to one uh, dark hero item from your drop zone and put it into your hand. And of course, you know we have an item card that you can use to re um, that card effect on if you need to. But typically, you will use this effect to you know to add any of your any of your good creatures that you need. Like you can obviously um, add um, add Stranger Dilemma. You know, of course, you want to add back Schwartz if he ends up in the grave. After you try, you know, you perform the the Braden combo, or let's say you charge any of your creatures and you send them to the, you know, to the graveyard for the call cost of something, you can just get them right back with this card effect. Let's see. Of course, now time for the item, and then of course we have Sneak Judgment, which is your item. You pay two gates to equip it. And if you have another dark hero or on your field, this card can attack your opponent even if there is a monster in their center, you know, which is pretty decent. This is a dark, uh, you know. Uh, oh yeah, when a monster leaves your field during the attack, your attack phase, draw a card. So, an added ability, four thousand power to crit, and then of course, you know. Our two Omni Lords, Count Dawn, and then Count Dawn of the Distant Days. And then we got our Hero World flag, of course, and then of course our Schwartz is our buddy. And that's the end of the deck profile.